Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Mega Man's almost done! I only got three minutes! I need it, Mouscular Chef! I need it now! Two minutes left! Oh my god! Hey! You! With the bug costume! Mega Man's almost out! Harley! It's almost time! You're gonna be Mega Man! You're not gonna be stuffed into this weird outfit anymore! Are you excited? Come on, tell me you're excited. Oh my god, there's no time, it's 7 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, Mega Man has just released for Monster Hunter World. And if you don't know, you need to go to your events tab right now, and you need to do a Rush of Blood, which is going to pitch you up against two Odogaron, and it's in the arena. So it shouldn't be too bad. You can bring anything that you desire. Uh, I'm probably just going to bring traps. I'm hoping that we can do this with them separated. We're going to see exactly what the fight's all about, and I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Oh, there's Mega Man music in here. Oh, this is awesome. So if you guys do find yourselves enjoying the video, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. Make sweet love to it. Where's the other Odogaron? There's trickery afoot, ladies and gentlemen. So there is one here. This is an itty bitty art. Oh, what is this? This is ridiculous. We're going to get a miniature crown for this, I think. Did he just whip? Well, that's weird. I don't have evasion on or anything. So I wonder what's going on here. Something, something's not right. But anyways, yeah. So we should have to probably do this a few times to unlock the Mega Man armor. And, uh, oh god. Oh, that thing hits like a truck. All right. So one's down. The Mega Man music is gone. Where is... The other Odogaron. That is the question. All right, so after you beat the first Odogaron, it looks like we got to wait for the second one to show up. So we captured this one. I'm testing right now to see if we get more rewards from capturing versus killing. Because uh, there actually doesn't... A skull doesn't pop up on the mini-map when you're about to kill them. So it's a little bit difficult to tell when they're going to die. I've done this a few times. Um... But yeah, so the second Odogaron will actually pop out of here, so you can set a trap up right in front of the door. Eventually, once the... well, that's not going to disappear this time, but um, after a certain amount of time, this will finally open up, and you'll be able to fight the second one. Ah, there we go. So there's the second Odogaron, and you can tell that it's a large one as well. So you're going to be able to get a miniature and large crown for this, so that's pretty cool for those of you that are still farming those up. But otherwise, it's a pretty standard fight. Just killing some Odogaron, it's not too bad. Especially when you're not playing like garbage like I am right now. But uh, regardless, let's go ahead and take this guy down, shall we? Well, I didn't mean to kill it, but uh, I wanted to capture it. We did capture one, so we'll see if we get increased rewards this time from it. All right, so it does look like no matter... Well, I did capture one. I didn't capture both. Maybe if you capture both, you'll be able to get increased quest rewards for the Mega Man tickets. Uh, but I did still only get one this time. All right, so let's see exactly how much it's going to cost for all of this stuff. We've got the Mega Man set here, which is going to cost three Mega Man tickets just for the full armor set. Now, this is less defense and everything, but it actually does have high resistances for every element. So that's pretty cool for the Palico. 
And then you're going to have to go into your standard equipment to actually get the weapon. And the Mega Man weapon is going to cost two. So you need a total of five Mega Man tickets. And so the attack type is blunt damage, which is pretty interesting. And uh, melee damage, 40. So let's go ahead and equip this. And can we... No, we can't equip both without looking at it. But let's go ahead and equip this see what it looks like. So it's not as blue as I anticipated. But uh, I'm super excited to get all of it. So I was curious if we can actually paint this, and I think we can. That's why it wasn't as... There we go. So I had it painted white. So you can actually... Oh, man. I was kind of wishing... So you can make it red. You can do all sorts of different colors. That's kind of cool. So I had mine set as white, and that's how you get that look. What happens if we set it to a more blue? So that's weird. It doesn't, like, give you the little stripes. It just fully colors it. So if we put it as default color... There we go. That looks much better as default color. So, interesting. It doesn't look very good when you color it. Let's see here. Uh, no. Oh, God. Black Mega Man. Evil, evil Mega Man. What about, like, bright green? I kind of wish it had, like, the stripes to it or something like that. The multicolor. Like, maybe, like, a darker color and then a lighter color or something like that. It's a little strange like this. Can we get... There we go. And then we got to get the brightness up. There we go. Yeah, no, I think I like it the most just regular because there's... It just doesn't look good solid. Like, it would have been nice if it just changed one of the colors. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I am very, very happy to have the Mega Man armor, finally. I was losing my mind there for a second, wondering why it looks so washed out. And it's because I had it set to white. So, very cool. Look at it! Harley's adorable as Mega Man. <laughs> oh, man, this is amazing. So I still need to get the actual hand cannon, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with this. Let's see if we can, if we go into, uh, well, that's probably not going to work in the training area, but um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We got a lot of the other content on the channel as well. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm actually starting off as kind of a Let's Play channel. Then I've gone into like tutorials and information and news with Monster Hunter World, but we do have a lot of really fun games on the channel, so if you guys want to support me in any way, definitely check those out. We've got a new game called Adventure Pals on the channel, which is absolutely amazing. It's one of the funniest games I've played in a long time. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys would check that out as well, and definitely subscribe for more Monster Hunter World information, news, updates, and builds, but I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to share support and smash that like button, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.